Okay, so we are now on the skill of coiling around another ribbon. That's number nine. Um, I just want to show you the easiest thing that you can do to create space, and that's to have one ribbon go under another. And that's really easy to do. You just stop where it disappears. All right. And then, voila, I'm going to have it go off the edge of the page here. All right, so that looks like that goes behind. And then when we get to the shading, that would probably be a good place for shading. But I'm not going to get too much into the shading. Um, I want to show you how we can go into this coil. And this is kind of a small space in here, so I'm not going to go all the way into the center of the coil. I think I'm going to have my ribbon go into here and slip behind this ribbon. So it goes past the first two, maybe the first three edges. Edge one, edge two, edge three. All right, so now you know that the first thing we do when we create our ribbon is we make our skinny edge. So now we need to have the broad edge. Now my ribbon stops here this edge right here is covering up my new ribbon. So that tiny little stray mark, I don't know if you can see it. It went a little too far. So I'm going to clean that up. So I only want to go through three edges, and then I stopped on the fourth. Now you can try going through four. All right. So I got the broad edge. See how it's a nice thicker ribbon? It's not quite as thick as this big ribbon, but variety is important. I need you to have both. So because my ribbon's not uh, see-through, and to make it more three-dimensional, I need to erase the three edges that go underneath the ribbon. This edge right here stops here and goes under my new ribbon and then continues. So it's got to go bye-bye. Bye bye. See ya. Same thing with the other three. So you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. It stops here. Now I'm going to get a nice eraser on a pencil. And I'm going to erase them here on the skinny edge. And sometimes what happens is I accidentally kind of erase my new ribbon but I just kind of remember where I put it so I can put it back. Now that's why we're going to draw lightly. If you're having trouble still seeing a ghost image of this edge under the ribbon, then you need to practice drawing more lightly so that when you draw your final piece, this doesn't happen to you because there is a part of the grading criteria that has to do with the condition of your page. And if there's too many stray marks because you couldn't erase them, you might not get a check mark in a particular place. Um, you can look for it. I'll show you where it is. So now this ribbon stops here, okay, goes into the coil. It's going under this ribbon, under this ribbon, under this ribbon, under this ribbon. And I guess we could pretend that um, this is the ribbon that it, you know, goes in the coil and comes out here. But really, I don't think it works out so well because this would be kind of a funny bend for a ribbon to make. I think it might make more sense if this ribbon comes through because you know this is creating a tube and it has to kind of come through the rest of the coil here. And then it makes this weird turn. That's kind of crazy. So I'm just kind of mentally thinking about it would come out probably right around in here. So the, and I could even like do both edges that way. You know, if it was wider, it might come through here. You could see it in the background, but it comes out, I don't know, to the double edge right about there. So here's my 90 degree angle. Remember that we were talking about how to end a ribbon and then and just extend this to meet it. It should be parallel. And so, you can maybe even see a little trace of it. So there is a ribbon. So this coil 
is coiling around this ribbon right here. So you're going through a coil.